Hello, welcome to Cardiff, capital of Wales. How's it going? I'm Hugh Stevens. What I want to do today is take you on a little musical tour of Cardiff city centre, meet some of the bands who play here, some of the DJs who DJ here, some of the shops who supply people with the music, the venues, the rehearsal space, the studios that keep Cardiff's music scene going. About five minutes away from Cardiff Central train station, in the middle of all the construction and all the building and all the changing of the city centre is the oldest record shop in the whole wide world, Spiller's Records. If Cardiff has a beating musical heart, a hub if you like, then it is this place, still going strong. Hiya Graf. Hello. Can I get the little my CD? This is three quid. The shop's got um, many customers, some uh, music fans, some make music themselves, and music fans like yourself, James. You've been coming to Spillers for years, haven't you? Yeah, no, uh, first time I bought a record from you is 1984, I think. I remember we used to, uh, we used to busk a couple of June Brides songs outside of you, and uh, Steve Arbini walked past us, and he dissed us, he just shook his head. No way. Yeah. <laughs> you sang about the red plastic bags from Spillers as yeah. well, haven't you? Well, for us, you know, for us, First Valley kind of Valley kids, they were quite iconic, really. Um, it's just kind of there was just all the older kids in the valleys, you know, the one or two kind of indie heads that were up there he used to say, yeah, yeah. when you go to Spillers, oh, that's that's when you would find out what the real world's about, kind of thing. <laughs> and they used to have these red bags, used to bring their sandwiches into school with them and all that. And uh, kind of like you know to actually you know get down here and buy records was massive achievement for us. I know it sounds daft, but it was back then, you know. Kind of changed a lot since the Mannix started out busking yeah. and playing here. Um, change for the better, do you think? What, what's Cardiff life like as a city now? My dad was a biker when he was young, so he said, oh yeah, we used to go down the bay, and he was like a, he talks about it as if, as if it was a fantastical place where they would like fight and kind of exotic women, <laughs> and kind of like, um, yeah, he always goes on about it. It's the first time he, he kind of ate a, a bloody steak, French style, when he was in Cardiff. <laughs> and he talks about these cafes where you just rent the frying pan, you take your own meat and you cook your own breakfast and all that. So like, you know, I think everything has changed in Cardiff, really. But we still have that sepia, kind of like sepia-tinged romance of what Cardiff was and, and what it's still built on. Cardiff and Wales has always been associated with all sorts of guitar bands, from uh, whimsical, folky indie rock to heavy metal bands doing well all across the world. But um, Cardiff's an incredibly cosmopolitan city and it's always had a very strong electronic and hip hop scene as well. So Simon, you own Catapult Records. How long has the shop been here? 16 years and counting. And Cardiff, is it fair to say it's got a strong kind of electronic, drum and bass, hip hop scene? I'm gonna throw the mantle down and say we've possibly got one of the best in the country. First of all, we're gonna have to go with high contrast. Couldn't get bigger. Um, household name has made drum and bass a household name. Me and Don Leisure were just listening to the new Rockwell track, uh, who's a Cardiff producer, moved up to London. All the producers will come in here because they'll want to hear all their production on a big house system, you know? So I'd say we're part of it. And Don Leisure, you're involved with the hip hop scene in Cardiff. That's right, yeah. Um, is that strong at the moment as well? Yeah, it's getting stronger and stronger by the day. There's like a record label called Associated Minds pushing through some really quality uh, local hip-hop. It's not all just about goldy looking chain, isn't it? Definitely not. <laughs> That's uh, <laughs> it's kind of given Welsh hip-hop a bad name. Opposite Cardiff Castle is Womanby Street, and on Womanby Street is the legendary Club Ivor Bach, also known as the Welsh Club. There's drum and bass, there's hip-hop, basically anything new, uh, emerging and cool that happens in Cardiff City Centre, they play here. Uh, and it's where I met my missus. We're in Club Ivar Bach, which is um, celebrating its 25th year of existence. Have you always come here since you started going clubbing? Yeah, this is the first um, you know, proper club night I came to, and this is where I saw um, Groove Rider in 98, and that was the, the first ever drum and bass night I went to. Wow. Um, so, you know, I started off having to you know, uh, sneak in here when I was younger and then, you know, get, got to know people, got more into the drum and bass and then I started my first residency here and playing my first tunes out that I've made here. Yeah. Um, and this is where I met the guys at Hospital Records who I then signed with. You've played here, you've launched albums here, you've shot videos here as well. Yeah, I shot um, 
some of the video for one of my tracks, everything's different here. Yeah. Away from the town centre, Club Iverbach, on the way to where high contrast lives, Penarth. A little bit out of town is the music box rehearsal and recording space. The beautiful thing about Cardiff is that although it's a city, a capital city of Wales, it's quite small, so there's a kind of town, maybe sometimes even a village feel to it. Everybody in bands and in music knows each other and supports each other. Cool. Are you okay? Very well, yeah. yeah we're just uh, our final rehearsals before tour. Very exciting. Um, this is where bands come to practice. How long would you normally rehearse before going off on the road here? Probably like... We've been in for we'd, four days this week. Yeah. And we've been in for about four days three weeks ago. So we've actually done quite a lot. Normally, we're a lot more relaxed. We normally treat... You know, don't tell the, uh, the fans this, but we normally treat <laughs> the first couple of gigs as kind of... Uh, as rehearse. the practice themselves, yeah. Cardiff is a is a very very musically healthy place. To well, I remember when we first because we lived we moved we lived together from day one, and we didn't really know where to go or anything. So we kind of just danced to Weezer in our pants in the bedroom. <laughs> There's always been like a really really strong scene and. Bands have been coming out of her and doing like phenomenally well for probably 15, 20 years or something. I live in a small village, so it's good growing up there, but then obviously when you grow up, you want to uh, spread your wings a bit. And I think Cardiff's like an ideal place. It's got everything you need. Good nightlife, good food, good people. So that's it, we finish off our tour of Cardiff, the musical city, uh, here at Longwave Studios, thanks to Aled Kids in Glass Houses. Uh, it's been a really interesting tour, it's been one of the, my favourite days of the year, all in just one morning, a little glimpse into all the music lives that are going on in Cardiff. There's so much more I could have shown you as well, so uh, thanks to everybody who spoke to us, uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you in Cardiff soon.